Hello, prospective voters. You may not be aware, because we've been trying to keep it pretty quiet, that from now on you'll need photo ID to be able to vote. We think that it's vitally important that the only people who vote are the people that we think are supposed to. Because we all know that there's the potential for absolutely massive voter fraud at any time. The fact that there hasn't really been any up until now simply means that we have to be extra vigilant. That's why we're spending millions of pounds to fix this. I mean, just because you live in a low crime area doesn't mean that you shouldn't also hire armed guards to patrol your garden. That will definitely deter burglars. And as a bonus, most other visitors. So what kind of photo ID do you need? Well, if you have a passport or a driving license, you're good to go. But can you remember where you put your passport? If you live in rented accommodation or have young children or read The Guardian, it'll probably take ages to find. In which case, why not simply sack off this boring election malarkey and go and post a hashtag on TwitTok or watch an episode of Sex Island or whatever it is you people do. We are aware that not everybody who wants to vote will have a passport or a driving license, especially some of the older members of the community, sometimes known as our demographic. So never fear, at polling stations they will also accept an older person's bus pass, a senior smart card, a freedom pass, a National Trust membership card, or a voucher from Saga Holidays. They will not accept a young person's rail card, student ID, or a Sam Smith fan club badge, if such a thing exists. If you don't already have the requisite ID, then you can apply for a special voting ID from your local council. But let's face it, you probably won't. I mean, if you can't be bothered to learn how to drive, you're hardly going to be bothered to learn how to vote, are you? And local councils are a nightmare. I mean, have you seen the state of those roads? Plus, we're not exactly shouting this from the rooftops, are we? I mean, did you know you needed photo ID to vote before the start of this video? And that's fine by us, because we want everybody to have the right to vote, but we really only want the right to vote. So my advice would be, just stay at home and carry on enjoying or enduring your lives and we'll carry on making the right decisions for you.